Hello, Alex. Thank you very much for having me. What an introduction. Uh, thank you. Oh, but, well, it's it's great to see you again. Now, obviously, we'll just we'll just get this out of the way. I, I know you because I did host the British Short you Film Awards. kindly did, yeah. Um, which was bloody lovely. Thank you for having me. Um, let me ask where the idea for this competition, which, as I said, just celebrated its second year. Where did the idea come from? Well, um, I made my first short film about, gosh, where are we now? Probably about three years ago. Um, and did the festival circuit um, and did the award circuit. And by the end of it, I kind of felt it was that year when the, the BAFTAs um, put the, the short film award off the TV. The, the um, Oscars did the same. And I just had that feeling that sort of short films were getting pushed to the side. And I think it's such an art form that um, I sat down with a few friends and thought, actually, well, could I have a crack at, at making an own um, an awards just purely to celebrate short films and and we went for it it was received really well and um of course you kindly come and hosted us for a couple of years now yeah i mean it's um it's like you say it's it's such a, a valuable way as far as i i, I can tell from the experience of i've had talking to uh, the filmmakers uh, at the event it's such a great way to get the practical skills of of making film of the filmmaking process because it's one thing a lot of a lot of courses at universities do tackle the theory but to actually get the hands on yeah. experience you need to be making the films yourself 100% you you've got to get your hands dirty and it really um it doesn't matter if you make a bad short film i don't think there is such a thing as a, well actually i've seen a lot of the ones that were submitted that there were some bad short films <laughs> but i think ultimately if you're making short films there's never going to be a film that you make that you're not going to learn a hell of a lot from and we've had people submit their, their first, second, third, and fourth short film. And to see the, the progression they make within those um, movie-making moments, are, are, it's outstanding. They, they, we just amazingly, the, one, the film that won our uh, best short film and the jury award this year has just been nominated for an Oscar. Uh, Tom and <laughs> oh, Ross, wow. who you, you handed over the award to. Yesterday morning, they got announced as... Uh, a nom nominee at the Oscars and the BAFTAs this year. So we're we're mixing with the right people. We've got the right people submitting. Um, and it's just amazing that we can give a little bit more of a, of, a, of a shout out to these people that are making outstanding films. That's absolutely fantastic. I didn't know that. That's brilliant yeah. news. Wow. So tell me, I mean, you say you, you, you sat down with some friends and you discussed whether there was an opportunity on the, the landscape of award shows to reward short films specifically. Like, how difficult is it? Like, I, I, I mean, obviously, you spot the gap in, in, in the market. You see an opportunity. You think, actually, this is going to benefit people. This is going to be a great idea. How difficult is it to get that off the ground, though? Um, if, if I'm honest, the, yeah, the, the idea is the easy bit. Um, it, it, it comes then with funding and actually... The, the the only sort of benefit of what we had during um, the, the COVID sort of lockdowns is that we could put on a small-ish show and it wouldn't cost the earth to put it on. But then we came to the last year when we had to do our first in-person thing and we realised that, gosh, this is going to cost thousands and thousands of pounds to rent a venue that can host everyone, to get enough drinks, to get um, everything sorted, transport for things. Uh, we had um, sign language interpreters. And suddenly the bill is just... Um, astronomical. So the hardest thing is finding the right sponsors that will come on board that have the right view, um, the right vision as you do, um, and ultimately get enough people to, to submit to want to be a part of it. And then if those all magically align, you'll only make a small loss like we, we did. <laughs> There's no way we're making a profit for many, many moons, but um, we never started out to do that. So the hardest thing really is uh, is, is kind of the funding to get it going. Because there are platforms, we use Film Freeway, which kind of, it brings the filmmakers and the festivals and awards together. So there's that easy submission platform. So we used them, but um, yeah, it, it, it was a bigger undertaking than, than I realized, that sort of feeling creative during lockdown, thinking, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a film awards. I think that's the right thing to do. And then a few years later, <laughs> thinking, gosh, I've got a lot of work to do to get this, to keep this going. But the rewards must be like tenfold. Uh, well, obviously, you know, you're, 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 you're certainly not making a profit at the moment. The reward of actually meeting these filmmakers and, and being able to talk to them, because like you say, we did one in COVID, so there was no opportunity to do that. But to, to actually stand and, and chat to some of these creative people who have put these films, have submitted these films, some of which won awards. 
was it quite a rewarding experience for you talking with them? It, it, incredibly. And I think, like I mentioned, um, of uh, Tom and Ross, who just picked up the, the Oscar nomination, moments like that, that um, when they reached out after their first film and and we then decided to set up the uh, a film fund. So any money that we did make, we funneled straight back into supporting um, young filmmakers, be it people making their first short film or we had a, a, an Oscar winner submitted for funding as well. And the, the most rewarding is seeing those people have the opportunity to make short films themselves with our help from the submissions that are coming in from the sponsors that are helping. So um, it's sort of a full circle. And, and that first evening, the first chance we'd actually ha had to meet a lot of the filmmakers and, and to chat to them enough, chat to, to so many over email and Instagram over the course of a couple of years and to meet them in person, have a beer, have a chat and see what they're up to and see what who they're working with. And then say, oh, this director, you should meet this actor. And then suddenly they start chatting their Instagram friends. You see they might be working on something. And we're hoping to create a little sort of grassroots hotbed of, of short film talent that, oh gosh, in, in 10 years, if I could look, click on the BAFTAs and see if two or three faces that I knew we put together, it would just make it all completely worthwhile for me. Um, let's look ahead to, uh, to, to next year. Um, are, are you in a position to talk about when submissions open and, and, and how people can enter, or is it still too early at, at this stage? We are literally, um, we had a meeting this morning about it. We are slightly streamlining it. As you may have remembered from the last awards, we had 400 and something categories. <laughs> <laughs> we had a few, quite a few categories. Um, we did additional yeah. categories and then we had principal categories. We're actually going to streamline and go just towards the principal category side of it. So uh, there's going to be um, not so many uh, on the sort of satellite categories. Um, and we'll go for just the big ones, um, make it more manageable for us. We're quite a small team that run it. And then uh, we'll be opening. Uh, submissions in February for that. Okay. Submissions in February. And they just need to go to the British Short Film Awards website. They can Google that. People can Google that if absolutely. they want to get involved. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. I